welcome all we will start with the next part of the lesson that is respiration so we have started our lesson in that lesson we have seen the characteristics of living thing from that one of the characteristic the main one we have studied that was the growth okay we have seen how plants produce their food what things are required to produce the food yes they require water they require sunlight yes and the food is produced or it is prepared in leaves with the help of chlorophyll which is present and what is photosynthesis the process of producing the food in leaves is called as photosynthesis okay we will start with our next characteristic that is respiration hold your hand in front of your nose or keep your mouth sorry keep your hand on your chest what do you feel obviously you will be feeling the heart beat but if you close your nose by one hand and if you keep the hand other hand on your chest you will feel that you cannot breathe properly you will use your mouth to exhale the air outside so why this happens if you are seeing anyone sleeping might be you also and any of your relatives or any of your family members if they are sleeping if you can see that stomach or the chest side you will be feeling stomach is moving but it's not actually stomach it is little the area above it you can see it is moving up and down so which is this movement and what is this called as yes this is the respiration okay when we sleep we do breathe don't think that we don't breathe while we don't breathe while sleeping this concept is totally wrong many of the students are having doubt related to this few students have asked me also this question teacher do we breathe during we sleep i said yes you are if you are not breathing you are not supposed to wake up the next day okay living things need oxygen in order to live we require oxygen for our growth also and for our survival also oxygen is very important part of our survival inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide inhaling means taking inside exhaling means giving out so inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide from the body this process is called as respiration so what is the definition of respiration yes the process in which we inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide is called as respiration animals such as fish snake mouse etc have specific organ for respiration it is not that fish are having nose they breathe with the help of the gills if you see frog frog breathe with skin when he is in the water but when it is coming out of the water it breathe with the help of nose and lung same way each and every organism is having a specific organ for their respiration on other hand plants respire by the means of microscopic pores on the stems and leaves microscopic pores means what very small very tiny pores are present on the leaves which we cannot see okay from this pores or due to this pores they do the respiration which gas they take inside yes they require carbon dioxide and which gas we require for our survival yes we require oxygen okay so respiration is one of the characteristics of the living thing now just see we have studied now growth we have studied about respiration so now tell me one thing is all the food we eat used by our body whatever things you are eating all of that is been used by your body do you think like that no the part which is essential the nutrients or the part which is good for our body is converted and the part which is not good for our body it is thrown outside okay so what is the unused part of the food converted into yes the unwanted food is converted or unwanted part of the food is converted into excreta i have told you the meaning of this word last year excreta is that product or it is that waste which we throw out of our body daily okay or frequently 
Why we are throwing it outside? Because it is unused. There is no use of that particular food which you have been taken in. Okay. So the next part is excretion. Excretion means the process of throwing waste substance out of your body is called as excretion. So we will study in detail now. Waste substance are formed during many processes that takes place in the bodies of an animal. These are also called excreta and process of eliminating them from the body is called as excretion. Waste substance are formed in our body when we consume them. So where does this excreta go? So what is the definition? The elimination. Elimination means removal. Elimination means throwing out. The elimination, the process of elimination to throw the waste substance out of our body is called as excretion. The process of throwing waste substance out of our body is called as excretion. Okay. Animals have specific organs for excretion. We also have a specific organ for excretion. Yes, that organ is called as anus. And plants are also having a specific organ for their excretion. As well as animals also do have for them. Now plants, sorry, I have just said a wrong sentence. Plants are not having an organ. So how do they excrete? Plants also excrete. But how? For example, some plants shed leaves in specific season if you see in the beginning of winter or during the winter season few plants shed their leaves shed means what all the leaves fall off yes so plants also excrete that process is called as excretion in them so plants also shed their leaves they are not having a specific organ for shedding only animals and human beings have a specific organ for excretion okay Waste substance stored in the leaves of the plants are shared along with the leaves. So, waste substance which is present on the plants or which is present in the plants also shared, also go out along with that leaves. So, we will see next. If you see a girl is tying a plastic bag on one of the leaves. And after 6 to 7 hours, she is going to observe it. <coughs> you can see something that there are water droplets collected on that plastic bag. Water droplet means what? You can see tiny water droplets which are collected on that bag. It means that plants excrete water in form of vapor. Yes, they are the water vapors which have been condensed. Condense, I have told you this definition in 5th standard. <coughs> Condense means the process of converting water vapor. When it get cold, when it get cool enough, it just get converted into water droplets. Okay, so you can see that plants are excreting water in form of the vapor. So excretion is also one characteristic of living thing. Just now we have studied two characteristics and that day we have studied one. So growth, respiration and excretion are the three characteristics which we have studied now. There are more we will study further. We will just go further. Okay. What is the sticky substance seen on the stems of babul that is acacia and drumstick trees. Drumstick trees. Trees means you know shinga, yes, and water stem and the stems of babul that is called as acacia. So if you see this plant, so something you can see sticky substance coming up above it. So what is that sticky substance? Yes, that sticky substance is also one form of excreta which has been released out. Now we will just see, we will just go further. Have you seen a mimosa plant? Mimosa plant means in Marathi we called as lajri. If you just touch it, automatically it folds up its leaves. It just get what you can say shrink like. Okay. Have you ever experienced this? Just tell me what happens immediately after the following actions. Light flash suddenly into your eyes. If someone just 
lighten up that torch and just just put on your eyes what will happen you will immediately close your eyes yes suddenly you felt a pin prick pin prick means if someone is holding a pin safety pin in the hand and suddenly your skin gets that pin and what happened you immediately take your hands at the back okay the leaves of the mimosa plant when touch when you are touching the mimosa plant or by mistake when your legs get to it what happened the mimosa plant almost it just fold up at sunset lamps on the street or the courtyard are light and insects gather around the lamp if you see when you lighten up something there are few insects which come and gather over there so why these are the reactions which have been caused or why this is happening can anyone tell me yes there is a certain response which we give you are knowing our sensory organs eyes tongue your skin ear and your nose okay so these are the sensory organs they are specified and they are having that special specialty to just give you the proper sense okay so if someone prick you the pin immediately you take your hand at the back if you go across if you touch a mimosa plant mimosa plant just get folded up so what is this why we are studying this and why it is been given to you right now so yes it is also one type of characteristics what is that characteristics called as yes it is responsiveness to the stimuli and movement so what is that we will just study living things acts in various sorry act in various ways when responding to a stimulus whenever this all part like pain break mimosa plant is all our stimulus so when we are respond responding to them or when we come in contact with them we just respond we give a certain action or we just give a certain reaction if you suddenly enter the cow shed the cows and the buffalo stand up as if they will be thinking that someone there present coming they are going to hurt them they just if you go inside they will just stand up and begin to move one or two many of them even start moving moving means they just start moving their faces they just start moving here and there why this happen these all are certain movements a creeper plant in the courtyard leans toward the support leans toward the support means what if you see the creeper plant creeper plant means you know no which requires support for the growth is immediately just stand near the lean means what it just stands it just go towards the support wherever it will find support it will just go over there a potted plant placed near the window grows towards the sunlight if you see the potted plant wherever the sunlight is coming that side it will tend it will just go towards it so these are the certain reactions which a living organisms give so what is the definition the movement or the change taking place in the living thing at such a time is their response to a stimulus so living beings or living things give a certain change or give a certain action this is called as responding to the stimulus an event that occurs in your surrounding is a stimulus the ability of the living thing to respond to stimulus is called as their responsiveness to a stimuli ability ability means what yes our stamina or our our capability to respond to a stimulus means if a certain if suppose anyone have prick you the pin if you did not if you have not reacted to it it will be little strange but normally we do react so an ability to react or an ability to respond to a stimulus is called as responsiveness to stimuli so responsiveness to stimuli is also one of the characteristics so remaining part and the last part of the lesson we will study later i hope you have understood this thank you